I'm Anna, and I'm here with my friend Laura Bray. Hi, Laura. Hi. And Laura is here with me because um, she likes all these little mommy things, and I'm coming up um, with this really fun, well, okay, we're going to be a grandmother soon, so whatever. So um, I'm happy about it, but it's taking me to a whole new phase of my crafting. And I really wanted to come up with a soft toy that would have like all the textures and tags and things for the little ones to suck on. And um, these are the little baby chain links that they can hang them on their stroller or whatever. But I really wanted to make it kind of goofy looking. So we're calling him our baby buggy toy, bug, B-U-G-G-Y toy. So we're gonna get started making him. And I do wanna show you just one thing that if you want him to be a squeaker, and I try to find, like we're, I was talking before we got going, I couldn't find a rattle or mm -hmm. something that I can make it rattle or squeak. You can buy little flat squeakers, but I really wanted something that if they touched it. So I actually found squeaking balls in the, in the dog department. <laughs> and there'd be no reason that you could not put one of these in the head of your, um, your bug if you wanted to do that. that. He great. does. There's one on this little sample right there. So just to let you know if you want to do that, you can you know certainly do that for safety. So we're going to go ahead and get started and show how to make this guy. I can't wait. Laura, I don't think you'll ever guess what this is made out of. Why don't you take a look? Some kind of knit? Yes, it is a knit. It's a knit knee high. Wow. <laughs> and what's really fun about this, if you go into the women's department, there are knee highs with everything from crossbones and polka dots and all kinds of fun patterns on them and butterflies and you name it. So. A one knee high is all it takes to do one stake. So here again, I'm really for some reason into economical projects right now. This particular knee high was a dollar forty for the pair, so that's two of them, so a dollar twenty just to do one little snake. Right. So take, of course, you're going to take it apart, your knee high, and just take out one knee high, and we're going to stretch them out like that, and then we're going to stuff. We're just going to simply stuff it. We use a little bit of batting. And here again, when you're yours using batting, I like to always remind you to fluff out your batting a little bit. I'm making a ball of it. And we're just gonna take that and go right to the tip of that, that ball, or tip of the knee high, at the toe. Okay, it's, now you may have to do this a few times till you get enough batting in to get it the size of head that you want because this is gonna be the head. So the toe, yeah. You can see the little smile from the, the toe. This is going to be our head. So okay. let me bring one in that I've already stuffed all the way, just to show you about the approximate size. Probably the size of a baseball, or I think is probably the size I'm going for there. Then you're going to take um, some embroidery floss, and I'm using all six strands on the embroidery floss. You're going to take it, twist this around, and then tie a knot. Okay. okay, and uh, double knot it. Okay. Maybe even triple knot, maybe even bring it back over the top and tie another knot. Because we want to just, because it is little, for little people, we want to make sure that it's very secure. Okay. So that's going to be the head. Now you can see here's the heel. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's the heel. And I'm going to show you what we're going to do next. <laughs> okay, so we've got the head done. Now we're going to start graduating the balls going down the, um, our buggy's body. Okay. So, and you can see here's the heel. So you know, there and again, you're going to stuff the stuffing inside, twist, tie off. Then I'm making my next little ball a little bit smaller with the batting, and I'm going to just keep on going down. And now here I got into the argyle, and we did a little bit more. And I'm going to just slide him around towards you, Laura. And I'm going to grab some more batting and show you how to make this. Is this a, so? This is an adult knee high, so you it, can get about how many sections out of an adult um, knee high? We're going to do. Oh, that's a really good question. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. So we're going to get seven. You always want to do things in odd numbers. I wasn't sure if it really was five or seven. So okay. you always want to be sure you're doing odd numbers and things. And so I'm just going to stuff that in, and that just maybe a little bit more. Okay, and I do want to just show you what I'm talking about. So I get get the knee high, and I'm going to work. I still need a little bit more stuffing there. 
You want it to be relatively firm for each section? You do because you want, when they grab it, you want it to spring back okay. up, okay? That's a really good question. So now what I'm doing is you can see I've got it about the size I want it, and I'm pulling the sock, and I'm going to twist. And that's pretty much what I did on all of these, is I'm, I'm twisting it, then I'm gonna come in here with the embroidery floss, and just like I did at the very first one I showed you, you're gonna tie it off. Okay, we have to, before we go any further with our buggy guy, we need to add a tail and then just like some fringe around his neck. Okay. So we're going to go to a stretch knit glove. Oh, okay. Okay. And what I did is I literally just gathered up the stretch knit glove, almost gathering it with my fingers. And you see how I'm pinching that together? I took a piece of floss. Here again, this is just a whole lesson in tying knots. You're going to wrap it around and you're going to tie a knot just like this. Now, don't get really nervous, but this is what's gonna happen. You have your knots, you can see here my knots are done, and we're just gonna cut it off. Not too close, though. Please, not too close, yeah, because you wanna have enough to stuff into his tail. Okay. Okay, so you're gonna have, here's his tail pieces, and that's what that looks like. Okay, now we're gonna go back to the knee high and there is a little bit of stitching. I've said all we've been doing tying, but we do have to do a little hand stitching. Running base around the cuff of the knee high. Okay. Okay, you're gonna do that. Now, if you wanted to add your little ball, this would be the time to add the ball. Okay. If you don't wanna do that, you're just gonna go ahead and add a little bit more stuffing in like this. That might be just a little too much. Just work your stuffing in. You'll just know this is, no real major rules on this, you just kind of play as you go along. I'm gonna take the, put this little tail piece in. All right, I'm just gonna stuff that in. And I'm gonna pull, make sure I have two threads here. I'm gonna pull both these threads nice and tight, like that, okay? Now, pull the threads. I'm not going to show you, but go ahead and tie them off really nice and tight. And then I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to go back and forth. So let me show you that with my needle. You'll have your thread on the end of your needle, the thread that's off actually from the tie. And okay. you're going to just push this through a couple times going back and forth through the bottom, through the sock. That way that will just secure it in there. So you want to catch all of the fingers. You want to catch the oh. fingers, you want to catch yeah, all the glove okay. parts because you don't want them to be able to pull that off and then you'll see them toddling around with this pieces of glove hanging right. out of their <laughs> mouths, okay? So that's just a little hint that I found is just taking the thread and just doing a couple really good tight knots okay. towards the end on that. Okay, we're almost done with this project. You're gonna, you're gonna need one more glove. So this really does take a pair of gloves and one knee high. Okay. Cut the gloves, oh, I would say a good half inch from the fingers. And this is gonna become your fringe for around your neck or a collar. You're gonna take those, turn them underneath like that, and just go ahead and top stitch them so you don't have any raw edges sticking out. Then you're just gonna simply wrap it around the neck and stitch it in place. Once you've done that, then you can take the cuff. If you want this little extra band around his head, you just simply take the cuff, turn it under, do the same thing, and the cuff's just gonna go right on top of his head. But if you don't like that look, you don't have to um, add that piece on there either. And if you wanted you know, little fringes all the way around, you have to have a lot of gloves, <laughs> but that would also be cute. So that's this step. Okay, with your embroidery floss, you're gonna go ahead and do a cute little face, and I used a back stitch to make this smile. And I also did a little blanket stitch around the cuff on, on his head. And I um, sewed buttons on. Now, if it's a little, really for a baby or somebody really small, and you aren't comfortable with the buttons, then I would go ahead and use a little piece of felt and cut the felt out and then just stitch the felt on. Or even just do an embroidered eye. And you, yeah, you could just do a little embroidered eye, too, if you mm -hmm. wanted to. That would be perfect. Then after we've gotten him all his little face done, you're going to just start tying ribbons on. And literally, I'm taking different types of ribbons, different textures. I have grain ribbon, satin ribbons, and you're just going to take them on, and you're going to just tie knots of them onto his body all the way down. 
And you double knot these? So yeah, I would go ahead, definitely, yeah, definitely double knot. I'm not doing that for you right now because we want to get finished here with our it project. It makes such a difference in giving it a little bit of personality. It really does. Yeah. It just And then if they're too long, like these are kind of long, just trim them to the size you think will work. And here again, we talked about these little um, baby links earlier. They just have a little crack in them. If you just put that on there, this just really gives the baby an extra um, something to chew on, something to carry. And I just think he's soft and he's fun. If you don't want the links, you don't have to put them on either. Well, you, you could even hook it to the um, <laughs> a, a rail or something or like that. Or the stroller yeah. top or anything. Yeah. So let's just bring him in one more time just to take another look at him. He's just really fun and... I don't oh know, I just think he's something endearing about him. He's almost <laughs> kind of ugly too, but <laughs> he was just really fun. So this is a really great project to do. And we were talking a little bit earlier that if you have um, younger children that may want to help you make these, mm -hmm. because it's just a lot of tying that they could do the stuffing and maybe you could tie the knots, just depending on how um, uh, able you are working with them. So, Laura, I want to thank you once again for helping me out with this project today. And you know what we say, when creativity knocks, open, open the, the door. door.